Hello everybody, today is August 17th, 2022 and we're here at Disney Springs at Walt Disney World. As you may know, Disney has already started their Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, that's their fall Halloween event. I do have a video up of opening night if you haven't seen that. And along with that comes a slew of new merchandise, treats, food, drinks, decor, all sorts of cool stuff. So today I'm here at Disney Springs on the hunt for Halloween. I know things have started to trickle out and there's still more to come, but let's go hunt in 98 degree weather. At some time over the next few weeks, a fall at Disney Springs decor piece will probably pop up right here, but it hasn't yet. If you aren't aware, August is still very, very warm here in Florida, but hopefully it'll start to cool down a little bit in September and October. When you see the balloon grounded like this, that usually indicates a very, very windy day. One thing I do know because Disney Springs posted it on their Instagram yesterday is that Joffrey's just released their pumpkin spice coffees. So that's what we're gonna start with. They actually have a few different seasonal fall beverages they've released. The pumpkin pie latte, the caramel apple chai latte, which I'm gonna try that next because that sounds really good, and the pumpkin game changer. They also have newly released specialty fall flavors. They have a Happy Harvest blend that sounds delicious. And they have Minnie Mouse Apple of My Pie, which is a wonderful pairing of caramel apple and cinnamon. That sounds so good. There's also a sign here for Disney Hocus Pocus Sanderson Sisters Brew with a limit of two bags per customer, but I don't see it here. So I feel like it may have sold out. So it's sold out right now, but they will be restocking. They go quick, so keep checking back for it. I think you can also order it on the website, maybe, yeah. I went for the pumpkin pie latte iced because it is just way too hot out for a hot coffee right now, so let's try it. It's delicious. It's really, really good. It's different than the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. They both have their own unique flavor, and I like them both. I just really like pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie flavored anything. I would say it's subtle, but actually it's got a really strong, really good pumpkin pie taste, and it is so good ice. I was a little worried because I know these are sometimes meant to be uh, served hot, but no, it's really, really good and refreshing. I say stop number one was a success. Now let's continue the hunt. I am gonna drink this in, in like one second. This is gonna be gone in a second. Our next stop has gotta be World of Disney, a massive Disney shopping experience here in Disney Springs. And whenever the seasons change or there's a new holiday or event, they're usually the first to have the new merchandise. Wow. Every time I walk in, I love it. So I'm guessing and hoping that, like they've done in previous years, when it gets closer to September, this is gonna be all lit up, green and orange Halloween colors. Right now, it's still 50th anniversary colors, and that's the main display in the store. But I'm already seeing some fall. That is so cute. So they have this new series on Disney+. Plus. Uh, I, we watched all of them the other day, this little Baby Groot series, and here he is coming out of a carved pumpkin. That is very cute. That looks like Rocket. Yeah, that's cute. And then right next to it, they've got this shirt. And I was kind of trying to figure out what it was because it says Marvel and it's got a bunch of ghosts. And they have Thanos here <laughs> doing the snap and then ghosts. So is that like he snapped and everyone's a ghost? Did they, they went there. They really went there. That's actually, that's, that's very humorous. And then what are we looking at for this puppy? And then we've got a Marvel hoodie that the Infinity Stones are pieces of candy. That is very, very cute. And then like character logos as lollipops coming out of the pocket. What do we got on the back? Oh my gosh. Look inside the hood. That's fantastic. I love that. Besides just fall, I see new merchandise every single time I come in here and I'm kind of in love with this retro looking shirt. But it looks like it's a crop top, which I don't love, but I do like the design. These are new to me ears, I haven't seen these. Sort of an aqua blue with little rhinestones in the bow. It's always really crowded in World of Disney because it's a very popular store, it's a huge store, and there's so much cool Disney merchandise in here. If there's something you're looking for, you're probably gonna find it here, uh, but I am gonna hightail it straight to the section where I know the Halloween stuff would be if it's out. Well, it looks like this area has still got the classic Mickey Mouse theming going on, but normally they transform this each season. 
So they haven't gone full Halloween here yet. I really do like this Mickey Mouse themed area and they've got a ton of Mickey Mouse specific merchandise. A lot of it vintage and retro looking, which I am such a sucker for. I love classic Mickey. Can have shoulders when needed. Pants have pockets. If you were ever wondering whether Mickey Mouse's pants have pockets, they do. There you go, there's your answer. I love this bag. And they've got Minnie Mouse in here too. Just a lot. I like it. There is a nice haunted mansion display here with lots of cool stuff. And lots of interesting stuff. Like this, this is one of the newer designs that, it's so weird. <laughs> Calling the spirits wherever they're at, the classic Madame Leota line, but it's a very weird design. I know what they're going for. I just don't know what I think about it. And then they've got sweats and Legos. And here's another in that line. It's, I don't know. Do we like this or do we not? Let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm torn. Is this like a dress? Or just a very, very long shirt? I do like the new spirit jersey though. I'm not torn on that. I like it. They've gone for a cool purple, dark blue, light blue and black tie-dye with the Haunted Mansion on it. And you know, tie-dye was everywhere this summer on our road trips. Even starting back in March, every theme park like in America had tie-dye everywhere. So we'll see how long that lasts, but I like tie-dye. A lot more new Haunted Mansion merchandise. Very weird thing they're going for. I don't know. Very, very torn. I always like candles though. Oh, that's like a cover on it. Let me sniff it. Huh. You know a lot of Halloween candles say they smell like a haunted house? This one kind of does. It kind of has like a weird dusty musty smell, but also kind of sweet and good. What do we got here? Another candle? Nope, just a mug. Oh, I like it. Don't know why the top, but I like it. Of course, Haunted Mansion merch is year round, not really Halloween specific, but they do tend to ramp it up around Halloween time. I got that shirt at the Christmas store, the days of Christmas here at Disney Springs recently. Someone asked me where I got it when I wore it. But you can also get it here at World of Disney. I feel like this is that era of 90s fashion that I did not like. <laughs> and I don't know if this is like ironic or cute or what. I don't hate it, but it's definitely a choice. They've got the ever popular Haunted Mansion Crocs here. All sorts of sizes if you're looking for those. I haven't gotten into Crocs. I know so many people love them and swear by them. I just feel like the plastic is gonna like hurt my foot. I don't know. If you wear Crocs, tell me, does this not rub on your foot? Does this not hurt? I also really like wearing socks, so I don't love the idea of like hard plastic shoes with no socks. But people love them and say they're really comfortable, so. There's also a big Nightmare Before Christmas display here in the middle. These are new to me ears. I like how it's like a bat there. Cute. This is a very, very strange Oogie Boogie shirt. It's like very disorienting. I guess it's meant to be very different, uh, but this is a very strange material. Huh, interesting. It's like 3D, I guess, meant to be. Very cute collection here. There's just so much good stuff in here. A new villain's long sleeve shirt in the style of a spirit jersey. On the back it says, up to no good. And it's got an all over print of some of our favorite, most popular Disney villains. Just some though, not all. I almost totally missed this too, this Brave It pumpkin in the patch onesie. Okay, let's keep on a moving. A cast member told me that they think that they're gonna go full on Halloween tomorrow. So that's really funny, but the day that you are seeing this video might be the day that the full on Halloween displays are out. And if so, I'll come back soon for that. But I'm excited that we saw a few things that were out early. And they did tell me that the stuff that comes out early will sometimes sell out. So if you see any of that, grab it now. The Disney Springs Photo Pass Studio will usually have seasonal photo ops. It might be too early for a fall one, but I'm gonna ask. All right, I asked if they had any Halloween backdrops yet, and they said they did. Now, when you do this, like, I don't know what they're gonna be. I'm not gonna see them until they show up in my Disney Experience app. You scan either your Magic Band or your card, so right now, I have no clue what they are, but I will show them to you here. Since the photo studio is open and connected to the co-op, let's have a look in here too. They've still got the vault collection, love every single thing, and ah, oh my gosh, you guys. The co-op did not let us down. 
they have put out some fall Halloween stuff. I, I'm, I'm smiling, grinning ear to ear right now. This is, <gasps> I have not seen this anywhere. Have you guys seen this? So I've seen the Mickey uh, soap dispenser pump. So it pumps out a little Mickey in your hand, but not the Halloween one. I might need to pick this up. How much is this? What are we looking at here? There's no price. They're like, listen, lady, it's priceless. <laughs> uh, no price. I'll try to find out. Oh my gosh, 30 days until Halloween. Looks like you'll be able to change the countdown as you get closer, I love it. Ah, so I actually have this from a previous year and I love it and I put it out every year for Halloween. This ceramic Mickey votive candle holder. We also have a Disney Halloween themed doormat and I don't know, I might have to update because I really like that one. This all looks brand new, this throw. Oh, I got some of this last year, and I gotta tell you, I didn't love it. I might give it another try, because this looks different, but I have a different kind of apple cider drink mix I purchase. I do love the popcorn mixes. Looks like a caramel popcorn mix. Oh, it's got little pieces of candy apple and chocolate. It looks like an Oreo and a pretzel. Neat. What else? Oh, I love this. What? What is this? Do these come off? I don't want to pull because it might not come off. I can't, I don't know what this is, but I love it. It's like little soft, fluffy, almost little mini pillows of the characters. And this is like a big, well, I really like this. Oh, good. It's got this on it to hang it up. This is a lovely piece of decor. Huh. Does this one have a price on it or is it also priceless? <laughs> $50. I don't know, I really like it. Of course, you do get your pass holder discount on all this stuff. That's different. I really love these Rice Krispie treats. I know it's something so simple, but it's just very satisfying. And then the walls here are decked out too. New arrival, this just in, so that confirms it. It is new. The 2022 throw. <gasps> Ooh, I just saw this too. These are pillows. This is a little ghost with a pumpkin. Mickey hat on it, well, orange Mickey hat. And then, ah, oh, hold on, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out at how cute this is. I may have to take this home. Yeah, what are we looking at here? 45, it is pricey, would get the pass holder discount though, and pillows are just pricey, and it says Happy Halloween on the other side. All right, pardon me while I contemplate this. They've also added these really pretty fall arrangements and little fall decor all over the store. The co-op has come through for us. And right around the corner, a little bit more, a light up Mickey. You could use this to collect candy or whatever. I play music? What do I have to do? I see a speaker in there. This is only 25 for this, interesting. It's got a switch. Oh, listen. It's playing boo to you. And it's blinking. It's really bright in here, so you probably can't see. But it's lit up and blinking. That is so cute. For only 25, I'm really surprised. Happy Halloween. So now I see uh, the middle is off. One side is just lit up. One side is lit up with music. It's got the little music note next to the sunshine there. It's another new thing with this new 2022 design. And the other side says trick or treat. So that's exciting. Even though World of Disney does have some fall Halloween stuff out, they haven't put their full display out yet, but I'll keep coming back to check for that. The co-op has and it is cute, cute, cute. And this has given us a great look at what the 2022 Halloween merchandise is gonna look like. I love everything I've seen so far. This other section of the co-op has really, really cute, unique patterns and prints. And this is completely new to me, this Haunted Mansion dress. So it's sheer, but it's got a, a slip or a slip dress underneath. And it is so, so cute, the design. The shape, this is gorgeous. Wow, I am very tempted. I don't wear dresses a lot, as y'all know. I'm just kinda like not, don't love them, but this has got me tempted. Let's see if I can find a tag. 
I did find a tag. This is priced at $128. The dresses here do tend to be very pricey, but also very pretty and unique. So I don't know. I'll think about that one. <gasps> Excuse my gasp, but they have put out some of the Halloween pet merchandise. Pet spirit jersey. Are you kidding me? Hold on, I grabbed two by accident. <laughs> In my excitement. What are we looking at here? $40. Here's a size chart. This is ridiculously cute. I am starting to get hungry and Disney Springs has some of the best places to eat. So we may scope around for some lunch. I doubt Disney pin trading will have anything yet, but let's check. I feel like they've been very slow on refreshing new things here. Either that or they just sell out so fast that they're like gone in an instant. But usually up here they have new stuff. No Halloween yet. I have a confession to make. I don't have a Magic Band Plus yet. So you guys probably know that I was traveling for most of the summer. We went on this big road trip. We were visiting tons of theme parks. Went to Cedar Point, Kings Island. Holiday World, Dollywood, all these other theme parks. It was amazing. It was like the best summer ever, seriously. But I wasn't here when they dropped the new Magic Band Plus. And from what I've seen of them, I have not been super hyped to rush back and buy one. I just don't see the excitement level yet, but I do feel like I need a new Magic Band anyway and they're out so maybe i'll get one today and if so i want to hear your thoughts on if you've gotten a new magic band plus yet and like what you think of them and what you'd like to see me do with it so they actually have a really big selection here eh, i think i'll get one i might as well right this is actually a lot more than i've seen available in other places all right so let's see what i like here i'm immediately drawn to the princess one and this one right here with mini hmm mm hmm you have to get a charging cable yeah, I like the pride one that's cute should I go for something simple what's this just straight up gray black that's nice if you want something simple but I'm a little more pizzazz than that mm, oh I like this one this is cool maybe I'll get this one oh so they're different prices actually sage $34.99 and slate $44.99 so I'm guessing See, uh, the cheaper one, the sage, the less expensive ones. Yeah, they're gonna be the solid colors and anything with a design is $10 more. I just noticed this one. This looks like a Main Street Electrical Parade one. That's what I gotta do. I love the Main Street Electrical Parade. I miss it so much. I know I gotta get out to Disneyland to see it. This is definitely the most I've ever paid for a Magic Band. But if I'm gonna get one, gotta be one of something I love so I guess I need a charging cable too so that ups the cost there lovely cast member informed me you don't need to buy the charging cable that is just if you lose it that's just an extra one it comes with one in the box so save me eight dollars there thank you lovely keeping the Disney magic alive uh, but I got one so next time I go to a Disney park which I think I'll go soon uh, I'll bring it with me and see what kind of stuff I can do. Really, really quick pop into Days of Christmas, the year-round Christmas store to see if there's anything Halloween in there. So this section was here last time I was here a few weeks ago, but they've updated it with the new Nightmare Before Christmas stuff that we just saw in World of Disney. So that's cool. And then they moved the Haunted Mansion stuff over here. Lots of new stuff. Cool. So yes, this is a year-round Christmas store, and if you've watched any of my past Disney Springs videos, you know I almost always pop in to see what they have, and they almost always have new things in here. But year-round, they usually have a Nightmare Before Christmas section and Haunted Mansion merchandise, and closer to fall and Halloween, they'll bring out some of the new Halloween stuff, but they'll also start bringing out the new Christmas line, and I already see new Christmas things in here. Like a lot of the newer, happier together stuff, a ton of it. This was a whole different section before, I left for the road trip and now these these are beautiful they've got a really lovely classic timeless look to them imagine drinking your hot cocoa out of this this is so cute i know we're on a fall halloween hunt but oh it smells so good it smells like crisp evergreen just like it says they do have some of the hanukkah merchandise and i'm sure hopefully they'll continue to roll out more of that 
throughout the year. It's just always a pleasure to be in here. It just smells so good and feels so good. But okay, let's keep going. I think it's time to eat. I smell food everywhere. Got some construction going on here over at Dockside Margaritas. Don't know what's going on, but it is all blocked off. Oh, volcano at Rainforest Cafe is gonna go off. Ah, so Dockside Margaritas is still open. You can get in by the other side. They're just working on part of it. Love that volcano. Oh, yeah. I know at least one other store in here has some cute Halloween stuff we're gonna check out. Vera Bradley still got the summary collection out but you know they're gonna have something good. The bag I carry and a lot of the stuff I use is Vera. Ah, we're gonna go over here to Sugar Boo and Co. They have a bunch of cute stuff and I think they have Halloween stuff out. <gasps> I think they do. Oh yes. This is, this is a supreme win. Look at how cute this is. Are you kidding me? Which has gotta stick together. Witchy woman, a wee bit wicked. I love it. Little potpourris, I guess. Yeah. Can't smell it in the bag. These little felt pumpkins are ridiculously cute. They have little Christmas trees out too. Check out these ceramic ghosts. You can put a candle in. 26 for that. Very, very cute. This store has a lot of really unique, cutesy stuff. It's got kind of that rustic, hip, neato look to it. This little felt doggy in his ghost costume and he's trick-or-treating. That is ridiculously cute too. And I love the little fall leaves. They really, really went all out. Look at the mushrooms. Oh, I didn't even almost notice these. These pumpkins with different colors. Very, very cute. I'm excited. I'm gonna do a little shopping. Okay, I am melting, just melting in the heat. It is so hot, I'm hungry, and I wanna see if I can sit inside somewhere. I don't have any dining reservations, so I'm gonna try my luck at Homecoming, Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. It's one of my favorite places to eat in Disney Springs. Awesome, they said five minute wait. Yes. Very low crowds today, and I was seated pretty quickly. Now it's just time to decide what I want. Homecoming is so good. It's definitely one of the best restaurants here at Disney Springs. I feel like you can't go wrong with almost anything. Sat down, was served an iced tea right away. I'm drinking it so quickly because it is so warm out there, and this is very refreshing. I don't know what it is about Chef Art Smith's Homecoming iced tea. It might be nothing special. It might be just regular old iced tea, but somehow it just tastes better than the iced tea from the other restaurants here. My meal has arrived and I'm so excited to show you what I got. And here we are, I'm on my second iced tea. And what I ordered was, I found out last time I was here that you can actually order a smaller piece of the fried chicken rather than the giant fried chicken platter. So if you're just one person, you don't want to eat a ton of fried chicken, but you do want some, you can order a smaller piece. So that's what I did. It's called the airline platter or you can just ask them, can I just have one piece of chicken? And then I also got the kitchen plate, which is three of their sides for $20. Each side is usually $8 or more, so this is a good deal. And I got mashed potatoes with gravy. They're scrumptious, amazing mac and cheese and collard greens and kale. All of these come in these little cast iron pots. Looks and smells amazing. The gravy is out of hand delicious. It takes the mashed potatoes to the next level. It is so good. I already know, like you need to cut into this mac and cheese. It is. Oh my gosh, this is the cheesiest mac and cheese you will ever have. It's so good. Look at that, look at that. It doesn't even all fit in the camera, it's, it's up here. <laughs> so good. I need to like wrap it up like if it's pasta. Oh my gosh, it is so cheesy. There's like layers and layers of cheese in there. It's kind of sweet, it's savory. It's got the breadcrumbs on top. It's got that layer of melted hardened cheese on top. That's so good. I felt like I needed some greens, so I got the collard greens. And sometimes you just, whoop, whoop, that fell. Sometimes you just need some greens. I love collard greens, kale in general, so good. It's like a tangy sauce, a little vinegary, um, just really fresh tasting. 
and it hits the spot and it makes it more of like a full southern meal. For the chicken, you can pick what kind, what piece you want. I got a breast. What's so special about the fried chicken here is that it's buttermilk brine for 24 hours and you can taste it. It is so good. Everything's delicious. It's so good. Um, just plowing through it and I'm getting so full. I don't, I don't think that I have ever fully finished everything I've ordered anytime I've ever eaten here because the portion sizes are huge. So I always take home leftovers. And that's why I saved dining here towards the end of my day here so that I knew I'd have some to take home and it'd still be good. Pop that in the fridge and some later tonight while I'm editing. Maybe even some for lunch tomorrow because um, it's all really good but it is a lot. You get a lot for your money here and it's like everything's so rich and like mm, mm, just delicious. I will say that the mashed potatoes are so soft. They're like eating a buttery cloud. They're so good. But I'm gonna take the leftovers home with me. Later towards the sunset, live music comes out at Disney Springs and it is wonderful. Thank you guys so much. You can probably hear live music everywhere. I've got my leftovers. I got some coffee. It was a really fun afternoon here at Disney Springs. I'm sure that more Halloween and fall merchandise, special food, special drinks, and all that good stuff will continue to pop up all over the Disney parks, Disney Springs, and the resorts. And I'll keep bringing them to you like I do every year. I get really excited for this time of year. You know, I'm a Floridian. I grew up here. We don't have a fall like a lot of other states do. We don't have crisp, cool fall weather. I mean, it's a little, but like it's it's almost imperceptible or like changing leaves or all any of that we, we have a little bit of that but not like Most of the rest of the country. So, you know anything we can get that is fall feeling or related We'll take it. Thank you so much for being with me today I am so grateful for all of you just sending you all a ton of love. I'll see you in the next video and until then as always stay enthused. Bye